Hey y'all, this is Driver. Been a while, I know. So I'm looking at starting a new uh, series here. As you can see, it's going to be Western Australia. Um, Rocky Mountain Valley is going to be put on the back burner. I'm not sure if I'm having a computer issue with my graphics card and whatnot. It's a little old, uh, six years old actually. But I'm having a lot of very bad frame rate issues and whatnot. So we are coming over to Western Australia. This is version two. Um, this has been recently updated. I can't remember exactly when it was released, but it's fairly new, probably within the past, past month or so, I guess. So we're going to do a new start over here, and let's uh, go on over to the maps. Take a look. All right, guys, so here we are in the game. Um, so I had to re-record this section. Um, I went back to listen to the audio, and I might have to redo my intro as well. Um, that was squealing in my audio for some goofy reason, so I had to cut out my suppressions and stuff. But anyhow, um, so here we are. This is kind of where your starting point is. Um, I'm not sure if this is where it'll bring me when we log back in after uh, we restart the game. But anyhow, there's our little house, and I'm standing on a tree. So... This is your basic farmhouse. Um, I believe there is a sleep trigger. Let me throw the F1 up here. I can't remember which door. I don't remember if it's this one. No, probably not that one. Let's try. Should be a sleep trigger in here somewhere. Might be too early in the day for it as well. I'm not sure. But this is the um, house here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my speed up, my walking speed, real fast. And we don't need a woodcut marker either. <clears throat> that way we can just get around a little bit quicker. So, as I was testing around earlier, um, before I re-recorded, this garage is unusable. It's just a decoration. So, I don't know. I might remove it and put something different in here. I don't know. I don't know if I could even sell it, so. But I guess, uh be a good place to store the pickup truck outside obviously so for people that don't know this map <clears throat> um, over here is your basic farm area you have several open big open sheds like this um, you've got some interior sheds um, a little bit outside area we'll go to the inside buildings in a minute another outside area here um, pretty open air to park stuff couple more of these big uh, open sheds like so our uh, grain silo is over here so that's where we dump it off at and over on the opposite side is where we reload it that spout now well last time I played this before this version um, I wasn't able to sort store certain things in there and if that becomes the case we will probably throw down a multi silo right here somewhere in that neighborhood so um, ign if I'm remembering right, I don't think this auger does anything, but it might. I don't know, it might be a spot where I can do a transfer um, from like one to another, but we got the silo for that as well. So as far as your other buildings, your more interior storage, um, <clears throat> well, we do have, I believe this is a fuel storage area. I'm not 100% on that one yet. We'll have to test it later. Um, inside building to store stuff, pretty roomy. Obviously, Remy, if you got that behemoth in here. You got this whole side over here. Um, my last testing, I actually tried to run that lift and it did not run. I don't know why that's unfolded like that, but it is what it is. So, this here says liquid fertilizer. It's got a trigger marker. I'm not sure if this is a buy point or what that is exactly. We have this other storage here. <clears throat> this building here if you go this bay this is our repair facility uh, last time I used this or played this map I'm sorry um, I was not able to sell vehicles here but I was able to repair them and I think maybe customize them so we got that unfortunately it's a little bit on the narrow side we can get most equipment through here but some stuff may not fit I'm not 100% sure uh, we got this little bit of storage here and this open little section right here so this is basically our farm here on that water tank so we'll probably need it eventually so <clears throat> with that being said let's take a look at our map here obviously it's going to save for us how nice i do have five minutes save intervals 
uh, save intervals turned on so that'll kind of help with a little bit so as you see we're up here our farmhouse located here this is our silo so it's kind of gives you an idea where we're at we start out we only own field one I'll show you that in lands we only own this field and obviously the whole farm area there so I'm not sure exactly how I want to do this in a way I want to kind of play it semi-realistic but I'm going to be using my unrealistic equipment so we might try to just get enough money to eventually buy plots so for instance if I wanted to buy field 2 here um, <clears throat> it's not giving me the option to buy and unfortunately it's I don't know why it's doing that but it is doing that Alright, we may just not have enough money, but you would think that if I had enough money that it would work. So we'll turn lands back off. I'll figure that out later on. <clears throat> and down here is our cell points and our garage is located down here as well. There also is a couple of pickup po points here. Uh, liquid fertilizer trigger and a lime station. So that's where we would go get that stuff. Um, I have a all-in-one placeable uh, buy station. <clears throat> I'm going to throw up on the farm, so we probably won't use this that much. Other than that, we got our cell points, the Cargill, um, hard to read that text, Glenvar, Hay Trade, WAE, and then the Spinnery. That's two different points. And then you got our, our grain cells up there as well. So we'll go down to the shop here in a little bit. This is just kind of kind of a little small walkthrough of how things look on this map um, as far as fruits um, all these are your standards except for the rye that is a multi-piece and then we got triticale spelt alfalfa clover I'm gonna skip these three for a minute we got carrots onions miscanthus I'm, I may be pronouncing it right wrong miscanthus might be the correct pronunciation I looked that up that's called elephant grass supposed to grow up pretty big um i would almost compare it to like seaweed in a way but a lot thicker we got mustard millet sorghum and rice and that's it on the multi fruits now we got three extra field grasses here and i'm not sure um well we got field grass horse grass and then pasture grass i'm not sure how that's going to work um <clears throat> i tried looking it up for animals but we have no animals or pins so we're going to place down our own animal pins so in that part I have not decided where we're doing that at yet. A lot of this is just going to be playing by ear. We do have a lot of places here that we can put stuff, but I haven't quite decided on that. If I could remove some of the buildings, maybe I could put up the pins there because I don't need that much storage, but we'll go with it. <clears throat> okay, sorry, just a quick pause to have a sip of coffee there. So, that's our map in a nutshell there for you. And uh, our equipment we start off with is going to be all this here. I'm not, well, I guess I can read off this to you real quick. <clears throat> we got the Case IH uh, 7250 Pro. Got a Stara Im Imperador 3.0. And uh, Agco Ideal 9T. Agco Dynaflex 9255. That's going to be a header. I am not even going to try to pronounce all that, but that is a Quattro 40. Got two challenges here, the MT875E and the MT743. We also have the Elmer's Manufacturing Hallmaster. I think that is the auger wagon, the blue one. Um, again, I'm not going to butcher those names, but those are seed hawks. One's the toolbar, 84 foot, and then the cart that goes with it, the 980. Uh, the Lizard Roadrunner is going to be a truck. Load King Distinction, I'm not 100% on that one yet. Bradell K165 is the spreader for lime and fertilizer. Uh, Bednar Swifter SM18000, I'm not even sure what that thing is. It's probably a front end piece. Capel, Capello Corsair HS16, that's going to be a Corn and uh, Sunflower header. There we go. The Kuhn LSB 1290D, I'm not sure which one that one is. The New Holland W190D, I believe that might be a baler. Uh, the Maxi High Dump Bucket, which is pretty obvious. And then the Lizard Silage Fork, and I think you'll know what that is as well. <clears throat> so we start off, we don't have no loans, no nothing. Um, we got 100 grand in our pocket and a handful of equipment that sadly I ain't going to want to keep. There are contracts available. I don't know if I'm going to even fool with these, but we might just for the fun of it. Um, 
Well, there's our statistics, but that does us nothing other than that's just settings. We are going to be um, <clears throat> playing with uh, precision farming, so if anybody's familiar with that, some of the stuff that like the used to be fertilized, um, you have to go to precision farming to see now. I can't turn that on or off. Same thing with the the lime. Can still without the, the plowing. I do have weeds enabled on this side of my map. I'm not sure if it's really going to be worth fooling with it. Um, the weeds on some of the other maps that I've played on have grown so quick that you couldn't keep up with them. So we're going to kind of play that one by ear. Other than that. Um, what we do have is our economy is going to be normal. Our traffic for now is going to be on. Dirt's going to be down to slow. I don't like automatic engine starting because it's a pain in my tail. Um, plant growth is going to be slow. We may have to toy with that a little bit. We're not going to do plant withering. We're not going to do crop destruction, but we are going to do plowing lime. And like I said, we're going to do weeds, um, at least for a temporary basis. <coughs> so that's pretty much a, a quick lineup of what's going on here. And what we're going to do for right now is we're going to we're going to go grab the semi truck. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to start getting rid of a lot of this equipment that I don't want. Um, I got stuff that I prefer myself. If I reset these, I'm not sure where they're going to go. So I'm going to do probably get rid of the majority of this equipment off screen and replace it as we need it but for right now and i'm gonna fix something i forgot about and of course save again go on there you go i kind of like the stop and go breaking in a way at times so but uh i've got a different version trailer that we're going to use um and i've also got my dump truck so we're going to be using one of the two so for now we're just going to take this truck and we're going to go for a little drive and we're going to head down to the shop and I'll kind of show you around over there real quick and uh, probably in the in the series from there to the, or today's episode I'm not sure yet we'll see so I hope everybody's been doing well I'm sorry I have not been on it's been pretty hectic my job got very very busy after we came back from COVID even though they're talking about another COVID shutdown Got hit by a car there. Let's see traffic. Let's get out of here before we get run over. Um, I'm only I'm gonna pull over right here for just a minute. I'll show y'all something. Ooh, telephone pole. All right, I'll do that run for a minute. If you've never um, played over here, you'll find various signs. This authorized vehicles, obviously, because it's our homestead. Why we have three mailboxes, I have no clue. And you'll see some of these signs around here in different places, long vehicles. I mean, this is an Australian map for you guys, so it's a little bit different. One thing that's going to throw me for a loop is I'm going to be driving on the wrong side of the road for me. Here in the U.S., we drive on the right side of the road. <laughs> so, anywho, um, yeah, things have been busy with me for work. Um, we've been putting in 12 plus hours a day, so by the time I get home, it's... It's been a long day. I'm usually pretty tired. Half the time I just walk in and just face, face plan into the bed. Um, sometimes I'll, I'll get on the computer and goof off for a little bit, but I'm so tired that I just don't want to record because you would just hear my voice. And then to add salt to the wound, um, my truck that I normally drive for work um, I wrecked it. I hit a tree that fell over the road after a storm. And I hit it at night, so I couldn't see it. Sadly, the truck got totaled, so I had to deal with all the insurance crap and end up getting another truck. And it's just been a chaotic mess. So I was stressed out about that, and I did not want to bring my stress to my, um, my gameplays and whatnot. My plan is to, you know, have a fun experience for us to kind of enjoy <clears throat> what we all enjoy doing, which is, you know, playing games, which this here is going to be Farm Sim. I'm planning on doing other um, episodes. I'm looking at another couple more maps that I want to do um, episodes on, but with my work schedule, I'm definitely going to do this one as long as everything goes okay. 
and I'm also looking at I, I'm playing on a, a daddy server dedicated server with some friends and I wanted to do some recording on there but I don't know how everybody would feel about it so I might do a, a single player version of that map as well it's smaller fields it's I don't even think it's a 4x map it um but it, it feels roomy the, the fields are decent size you got everything from small to kind of kind of large nothing like this here because these are stupid large fields and also I apologize for the um, background noise I got the air conditioner running a little bit warm or it's gonna be warm today so I want to keep it on Alright, we have arrived to our turn. It takes a while to get around on this map, so you're only doing 51. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to park this truck somewhere other. Well, it doesn't really matter. The cars don't come in here, so let's shut this down. So, as I was talking about here in the shop area, um, I'm going to kind of follow this little trail around and around. And worker there. You don't have to do anything on this scale. It's just there for decoration. But there's our selling points. There's one there, and oops, I, guess I should watch where I'm walking here. Let's see, and then another one there. As far as this, I don't believe it does anything. We're not able to get to it. Maybe it opens up at certain hours. I'm not sure. I'm not, there may be some things that have changed. Um, I know we, from what I was reading on the the uh, notes for the um, version changes. There's supposed to be more sell points, and I don't see them yet. So there could be certain hours I may just be missing them, or they might have been renamed or edited or modified. So this here would be your straw sell point. Um, <clears throat> not sure where exactly all the sell points are. Looks like this is another point for selling stuff. Looks like uh, that looks like wool to me. Yeah, it says uh, it's wool. I'm trying to read it here. Um, formidable wool from Happy Sheep. Okay. Pretty interesting. Um, also, this this is where you actually go to to purchase your stuff in the store if you want to actually go to the shop menu that way. Um, I'll just be doing it a different way, and I'll show you where the vehicles are going to spawn. So our other <clears throat> green cell point is here at Cargill. Oh, this reminds me of the days when I was pulling hopper bottom. So there is this building here. Can do anything in here or not? Oh, nice. <clears throat> I don't really remember this. Um, so <clears throat> if you've never dealt with uh, grain hauling, so this is some of the uh, ways they test um, samples of the product. And lets them know how good it is and whatnot. There's like a sample machine there, so couple of brochures all right so I don't want to waste too much time on a lot of that for you guys so okay and this here I think was our lime yeah that's our lime and I'm gonna assume that this is probably liquid fertilizer or something of that nature and then last but not least we'll go ahead and run back over here over here beside this warehouse is where your new vehicles will spawn Pretty much right here it'll start here and it'll go over there to the left the direction that guy's walking there so i'm not sure where the cell trigger i didn't see a trigger hold on a second don't tell me i just drove this truck all the way over here for nothing because there's our buy trigger for the shop there is not a trigger over here guys i just drove this truck all the way over for nothing so, hmm. That's kind of a pain in the butt. Okay, well that's a, sorry for that. Um, I guess that's a little glitch on my part, so let's do this. We already drove it over here, so we're just going to pretend we found the trigger. There's the truck. Put a dollar or two in our pocket, and the distinction. Okay, that's that one. That's not the Wilson, that's not a Wilson, so... And we'll just 
double check, make sure we sold those. Gone, gone like the wind. All right, so to replace that, guys, for the time being, we are gonna use my Ford. I've got a couple trucks in here, but we're gonna use the Ford because this has a dump truck version on it. So I'll go through setting up one, and I'm not gonna show you the rest of them because it's just redundant, I guess you could say. So we're gonna paint this from a blue metallic. This is gonna be a dump truck, so I'm gonna throw a blue tarp on it. Fenders, yeah, we'll do matching fenders. Dump bed, we'll also do blue metallic because we're gonna put a dump on it. And then the chrome, I don't know why they always put polished metal, I always go chrome on them. All that, so configuration. This truck has a lot of configuration, so it's got the semi-short, long, longer, um, hook lift, and I have used uh, hook lift equipment on these, it works pretty good. You have a flatbed, you can you can put auto load on this. Um, you can do it with the ramps and the auto load still works. Today we're buying the dump truck. Um, we're gonna throw some Michelin as soon as I find them. Don't need GPS, okay, exhaust pipes, let's see. We'll throw a set of duals on there, put a bigger bumper on it. <clears throat> well, being in Australia, we could, could put that big old boy on her. Let's do that, just for the fun of it. <clears throat> Try to attach her in an engine. So there's a few engines. I activated an additional engine that's in the XML, but uh, it comes with the Cummins at 375. Um, you can bump up that Cummins to a, bump it down. I don't want to pay money to bump it down. It goes down to 350. Am I reading that right? Ah, there we go. Okay, 230. Then 350. 375 on that. And this is the one that I enabled and I renamed it because they called it the Ridiculous Cheater and I thought it kind of sounded dumb. So, and it's set up with some stupid power. And I don't have enough money. Holy crap, guys. Look at that. It's going to cost me 1.1 million. Oh, it's because the motor backed it up. Alright, we'll buy it with this and we get enough money, we'll upgrade the engine. So, and as I said before, there she sits. Well, I have to say, it does kind of look a little ugly with that, um, that bull guard on that Ford. <laughs> but, <clears throat> it is what it is. So, and if you haven't ever seen this truck, the, uh, the tarp when you open it, does, it's animated, which I think is pretty cool. So, well guys, with that being said, I think I'm going to take this old girl to the farm. <clears throat> I'm going to take a little bit of time and I'm going to go ahead and work on our equipment a little bit the, um, the field that we got to work on let's take a look at that real fast the only field we have has no crops on it it's already been plowed wait a minute it says it's already been plowed okay it says plowed <clears throat> yet it needs to be plowed again so I'm gonna have a look at that while I'm over there and figure out what's going on with that and uh We'll uh, start doing stuff on that. And oh, real quick, well, we'll go ahead and start the drive back, and I'll discuss um, what we're doing as far as on the mods. So most of the mods are going to be still the crazy equipment, um, like this here's got a 10 million liter capacity. The combines, I think, are um, a regular combine is nine. I think it's nine million liters, and then the um, root harvester style um, harvester is at a million liters. So we're going to keep all the bigger equipment. I am using the um, easy development controls as you've seen. And I'm mainly only using that just so that I can have the faster um, fast speed through the night and to be able to turn up my walking speed and that sort of stuff. I'm not really going to use it to cheat in fields or anything like that. And yeah, let's see what other things we got. We are going to have, we have GPS, um, for, and I'm going to buy that on pretty much all the equipment I purchase. And I 
I don't know how much we will really use it because I think we're going to be using course play quite a bit because I do have course play enabled. And let's see. <clears throat> oh, I thought we were home. We got a little bit to go. So let's see here. Um, so yeah, I've got quite a bit of different equipment that we're going to be using. Most of it's the same. I did bring over a couple of new pieces. I have traded out a few things, added a few things, so on and so forth. We're still going to use the uh, same tractor. And all that good fun stuff. So, and I think that's pretty much going to wrap up this episode, guys. We're going to get this thing in here and we're going to find somewhere to park it. I haven't decided where I'm parking it yet. Woo. Well, I guess I didn't like that uh, speed on up uh, stop sign, did I? <laughs> and we'll just find somewhere to park this. We don't have to put it in the shed for right now. We'll just, uh, we'll just park it right over here. It'll be good enough. <laughs> so guys, with that being said, I'm glad that you guys were able to join along, and I'm hoping this will be a fun series for us. Um, if you got any comments, questions, suggestions, um, feel free to leave that down in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and uh, I guess I will catch you guys in the next episode. See ya.